In this video, we'll be covering sharing map files. Sharing map files allow users to apply a map file to data being shared into a project. A sharing map file can be assigned to shared data in three ways. Via the project share settings panel, via the env.4d file, and via the sharing map files panel. The first one we're going to cover is via the project share settings panel. When using the project share settings panel, note that it is only for the current session of a 12D model project, so the map file will need to be set before sharing data in. This map file is used on all models shared into the project. The project share settings panel is located at project, sharing settings, or via the sharing toolbar, uh, this fourth icon here, share settings. This field here, sharing map file, is where we will input the sharing map file to be applied to all shared in data. Select the folder icon and select open. This is where I'll create the map file. Uh, I have already created a couple of map files. I'll select my first one and select read and go to the basic tab. Uh, when applying a map file to data being shared this way, uh, only the basic tab of the map file is used. The string name, color, point line, line style, and weight properties can be changed, but the model name cannot. Uh, it's important to note that symbols will remain the same color as per the symbol definition. Uh, so in my basic field here, I've only made two entries, uh, the key and the color. So this map file is going to change uh, all the models into shade 32. On my other map file, I have the same, but it's just changing all of the models to red. So they're my two map files. Uh, I'm going to select my first map file, which is going to change the color to shade 32, and select set. And yes. And then I'm going to uh, share the survey data into my project. So I'll just select share management, new project, and select my survey project. I'm going to select all my models and add. And then add them to the view. Add all the models that I just shared in. And you can see that they come in as gray. So they've been successfully shared in and that map file has been applied. I'm just going to undo that. Undo the share. And I'm going to demonstrate the second way a map file can be assigned to shared data, which is via the env.4d file. So again, in the project share settings panel, I'm going to remove this map file, select set, and yes. Uh, and instead I'm going to go into project, management, env.4d, navigate to projects, sharing, and here I have my sharing map file. I'm going to select the folder icon and select my sharing to map file which is going to change everything to red. Select that and write. And I'm going to write that new env.4d to my working folder. And finish and finish. Now to apply this env.4d or to make sure that that env.4d that I've just written is being used by the project, I'm going to run a project restart. Okay, now the project has been restarted. Uh, the impact of setting this environment variable will be to automatically populate the project share settings panel, uh, sharing map file field, uh, with the map file selected in the environment variable. So I'm going to select my share settings panel from my sharing toolbar. And you can see there that that environment variable has automatically populated the 
sharing map file field in the project share settings. So that now when I am to share in new data, that new map file will be used. And there you can see all my data has been turned red. So our map file is being used. Again, I'm going to run an undo. And I'm going to go back and remove that environment variable. Rewrite my env.4d file, so we're back to the one that we were using to start the video. And I'll just run a project restart so that we know that it's utilizing that environment uh, env.4d file. Okay, and the last method uh, that we are going to, use, uh, to demonstrate to show the uh, using of a sharing map file is through the sharing map files panel. Uh, so to access the sharing map files panel, we go to project, sharing, sharing map files. And we get this panel here. Uh, so in these fields, we're able to assign a model mask and also a map file. So if we want to assign multiple map files, uh, this is how we do it. And the rule with these model masks, because there can be some crossover uh, between the models that we select uh, in our model mask. Uh, the rule is if the model is changed by uh, this first map file, it will not be changed by the second map file. Uh, so in our situation, we're going to apply uh, the model mask of asterisk, uh, of survey asterisk, and the model mask of asterisk. So what that's going to do, uh, when we select the first map file, of the sharing map file, which is turning everything to color 32, and the second map file of color of sharing 2, which turns everything red, what this is going to do is it's going to turn out all of the survey models color 32, and then it's going to uh, turn the remainder, so what isn't covered by Survey32, it's going to color them red. And the only model that we're sharing in um, that is left over when taking out the survey models is the proposed cadastral. Uh, so when we share that data in, everything should be gray except for the cadastral boundaries, uh, which should be uh, red. So let's go ahead and write that. Uh, so that's going to write a sharing underscore map underscore files dot 4d file uh, to our working folder. So we'll write that and finish and finish. Now we'll share in the data. So again, we'll go to share management, new project, select our survey project. And we'll share in all of our models and add and finish. Go to our plus button and add on all of our models. And there you can see, if I remove our road design alignment too, there you can see that it's changed all of our data, shared in data to gray, except for our proposed cadastral, uh, which is now red. Uh, one thing to note with map files currently is that the map files will only apply to data in the current session of that uh, 12D model project. So if I were to run a project restart here and save, uh, when this project relaunches, you'll see that the colors uh, are no longer mapped to that map file. Uh, in order to reapply these map files to our data, we need to run a model sync. 
So this is something uh, that has been highlighted to 12D uh, and it's something that will be changed in future versions. Uh, we will endeavor to have this fixed so that the map files being applied will be uh, maintained when a project is restarted, but this is just a workaround uh, for now. Uh, so if we go to uh, Model Sync, which is the second button on the sharing toolbar, you'll see that it doesn't say that uh, the models are ready or needing to be synchronized. Um, but if we select synchronize and right click and toggle them all on and select synchronize, what it's going to do is it's going to take away all of the data, um, effectively unsharing the data and then sharing it back in uh, and synchronizing the data. And by resynchronizing the data, it's actually going to reapply the map files in that sharing map, uh, sharing underscore map underscore files uh, file that we wrote out to our working folder. And then it's going to re um, it's going to come in with all the uh, colors defined by our map files. Uh, yeah, so as I said, this is a workaround which will be fixed in a future release of 12D model. Uh, but for now, that is the demonstration of sharing map files.